Hello and welcome back. Steel Pennings here once again. And today I have something I feel is very special. I, um, I have a few of them. I've gone through a few of them. I've sold a few of them. I've bought a few of them. You know how that goes, right? And this is a very special lock because you don't see them around too often. There's an abundance of them out right now. So I, I attached into it a little bit. Mainly because I wanted the pins. But let's hand down and show you what I'm talking about. It'd be M Hearts. And if y'all know about M Hearts or not, they are the uh, Corbin uh, and Russwin and Corbin Russwin made M Hearts. And uh, that. It, and then they did it under their own brand front too. See, this would be their own brand front, the E. This would be under a Corbin front. And then, of course, this is Imhart on the plug itself. Then you have this one, which is Corbin Russ one. Corbin Russ one. And then this one, which is just a Russ one. So, they've gone under all names. I happened to come across some that were not pinned. I mean, that were not keyed. And we'll have to see about if I can get keys made for them. Well, this particular set right here. I, uh, took apart. Because I found a blank that would fit it. And pinned it up to fit. Which is really, really cool. And now that I thought I was going to cut the little grooves in the back of it here. So it'll go all the way around. And I thought while I'm here I'll just uh, show you all the pins up close and talk to you about them a little bit. What do y'all think? You want to take a look at them? And you can see that um, the tonguing groove on them is tonguing groove and dovetailed. Which means that the base of them here is uh, fatter so they they won't come out straight up and down they have to be slid out um, the master wafers do not have to be uh, straight um, no cut to them they can be like this one here which has it there and the other side is over here so it's twisted and uh, I went ahead and used the master wafers and kept them in place just to and then they make them all different all like a pin kit they're all different sizes and I've got this one kind of decoded and I hand filed the key down to work and I thought I'd show you all what it kind of looked like in the key itself when you put them in and so you have to put the lock together all the way and put the pins in from the top when you key it up. When you put it back to working order because of these grooves it won't slide out this way. That's part of what you know they, they're good for. Let's, I'm going to get this one here. I'm going to use regular pin and tweezers so I can pick them up easier. And then drop them down in this one. And I'll show you all how they... They rotate in there. See how they're kind of bouncing around the way the way they go. Is this the wrong one? I think it may be the wrong one. Well. Goodness, trying to find the right one it went in too. That's it there. And it will allow it to turn and slide out. If you didn't turn it around very much, that is. That one looks like it goes to number three chamber. 
Yep. Maybe this one here goes in chamber one. Trying to pin it all up and get it all working. This one I think goes to three. A little short one. to repin all these things and get them all together I don't want to bore y'all and keep it all quiet but you um so I'm gonna have to de uh, code it again so that I can pin it all back together but I wanted to share it with y'all and share y'all the M hearts here and this one here is another one that's not working I need to cut a key for it and I've got the key here so I just got to take it apart and decode it and uh, I've already dropped these so it's probably not going to decode the same so this key here probably won't work on this one so I don't know we'll see um, I'll pin y'all back in here at the end of it when I get it all figured out and show y'all what I did we'll put it back together and go from there so hold tight Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm sorry. So, let me take uh, this tiny, tiny little thing, this one here, and we've got to put them together with my big so dubby sausage fingers. This is when your dexterity comes into total, total commitment. Now, to show y'all how it works in the lock again, this one goes there, and when the key's in it, it lifts it up and twists it to the right angle. It can slide off and on. And that is what it would look like there. And now we pull it out, set it back down. Now, we've got to put this back together. I set this little doodad here. Hard to get your fingers to bend that away. There we go. There we go. And take out the key for now. And this will slide out as long as that back isn't on there. So let's go ahead and stick it on there real quick. Bum, 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 bum. Space Invaders. Okay, so now the back is on. So let's get the first set here down inside of it so it doesn't want to turn on its own anymore. go down the hole okay there's one down so now we're gonna put this one together the top and the bottom and drop it down the hole 
Well, you know, you could be uh, checking kind of each one beforehand with the key to see if it's going to work or not. Because, I mean, I, <laughs> I did hand cut the key, you know. So those do work, no problem. It's that third one, or fourth one down that I, I'm going to be concerned about working. It was a tiny schmear off. And, you know, you go cutting on the key, cutting on the key, cutting on the key for you need, you need a different key. Let's make sure it's not that one. Ooh, that's a little tighter, though, but it did work. So, let's see if this one goes in and works, right? If not, we know it's this one. All the way in. Right back. Uh oh. That's gonna be the one I'm thinking. Push them all down, make sure. Ah, I got it to turn one there, see? It's it's real iffy. That's the iffy one. But it does work, it's just iffy. Yeah, see? Gotta kind of wiggle jiggle that one. So that kind of sucks. But. So, you know what? We're gonna pull that one out. And I'll reconfigure that one. Okay? We'll move on to this one. Ooh, down the hole. Down, down, down. Okay. Oh, what the heck now, right? Skipped it. One, two, three. Skip one. See, it's hard to also because of the, uh, yeah, see, it, it was doing it, it was just tight. Because the springs aren't putting tension on them, so they, they you know, you've seen you, they got to stay in a precise place. Might have to tweak the key a little bit, see, it does work here and there when it kind of wants to. You can hear it where it wants to twist it back. But see, when it does find it, it does want to work, which is really odd. Huh. May I have to go in and tweak that key. Which, I mean, not a big deal. It's doable. Now I don't want to do shit, right? Yeah. I'm going to tweak that key. The first three sets. That was, hey. See? So that kind of works. I'll need to go in and tweak it for that one just so I get it to work, you know, when yeah, it works the first time. But pretty good for taking a lock apart, putting it back together that way. Put springs in, latch it down, and you have a working one again. But I'm going to want to take it back apart so that I can fine-tune that key to fit it even, you know, smoother. So that it actually works all in rhythm. Yeah, and then I still have to cut the back so that it can go... It won't go all the way around. So, that as well. Okay. I'll sign off without boring anybody anymore. Thanks for tuning in on my M Heart look at. I hope that you got a good look at the pins. Y'all, please stay safe and always stay legit. 
If you like this video and like what I do here, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, until we meet again, peace.